Hey everyone, today is um, Friday, November 21st. Um, this is going to be my due date video, even though my due date is actually tomorrow. Um, <laughs> it's close enough, in my opinion. And I have kind of a busy day tomorrow, so I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to make a video on my actual due date. Hopefully, I will be too busy having a baby. But... <laughs> Anyway, so I wanted to make this video today um, in case I don't have a chance to make it tomorrow. Um, because making a due date video after the due date might be sort of anticlimactic. Um, so, oh my god. It's been a very long, I don't know, I mean, how long has it been since I found it? March? So, I was like a month and a half in. So it's been a really long seven and a half months, um, or so since I found out and, but you know, like it's gone pretty fast. I kind of feel like the time just was like, just flew by and like I blinked and it was July and I was finding out whether it was boy or girl. And then I blinked again and it was like September <laughs> and then like next thing I know it's November and I'm like, whoa, how'd that happen? So, um, the early parts dragged on, like, the first trimester really dragged slow, um, at the time, but now it feels like it was just recently. Um, and, but I don't like the memories I have from that time, like from April and May, it's like, those were really, really hard days. And so when I think about them, I'm kind of like, I don't want to remember that. So, but it's okay. Um, I was really anxious back then and really sad because the hormones were just nuts in the first trimester. So it was hard, but it passed. I lived. So did the baby. So, um, um, and I, it's weird to think that, like, tomorrow's my due date because, like, all this time I've been thinking, like, can't it just be November already? can it be November already? I just want to have this baby. And now it is. Like, not only is it November, it's my, my due date almost. Like, less than 24 hours. So, that's pretty crazy. Um, and I've been counting down. Like, I make these countdown calendars, like, where I draw all the days and I cross them out every day. And, like the due date calendar ends tomorrow and I'm like if she's not born what am I gonna count down to I have nothing left so I guess I'll count down to like December 1st or something I don't know anyway um so how's it been I guess is like what this video is for like it hasn't I don't know how to explain it it hasn't been easy but it hasn't been really hard either in the ways that I thought it would be hard. I thought I would be really terrified of gaining weight. No, no. Well, yeah, I did, but I, I am. But I thought I was going to gain a lot of weight, I guess is what I mean. And like more than I should or more than I thought I should, but that didn't happen to me. So I'm like so happy and grateful that that um, didn't happen that way in the way that I was afraid that it would so um like talking is hard because <laughs> there's a baby like well she's actually really low but I still don't have a lot of space so like my lungs get all exhausted so I'm like out of breath just from talking to you guys um it's entertaining to say the least so yeah, the weight gain was definitely hard, but not hard in the way that I thought it would be. But, like, I think I mentioned a few videos back, like, I found out my weight and it was really scary, but it was okay, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I feel like I'm not making any sense. Like, I'm not explaining this very well. But, like, my brain just, like, went in this other mode. Like, I understand what has to happen and why. I don't like it, but I'm like okay with it in a way. 
which makes me feel kind of like an imposter for saying I still have an eating disorder, but I do because like the thoughts are still there. I just was able to like push them away, like keep them at bay, I guess is what I mean. Cause they're still there and I still think them, but it's like, it's kind of like a, you have to wait. I say to my eating disorder, you have to wait because this is more important right now, but it's not gone. <laughs> Does that make sense? So, um, so that happened, but that's good. And I'm a little nervous <laughs> about going into labor and having a baby. The other night I had some like actual real contractions on Wednesday night. I'm like 99% sure that's what they were because of the way they were happening, how much they hurt and the way my body reacted. I felt them almost entirely in my back. And I was like, ah, no. Back labor scares me because that's really going to hurt. But when I would get periods, I would get most of my cramps in my back. So I guess I kind of expected it. But anyway, I had real contractions for like 45 minutes or something. And like we were, we were actually out eating dinner at Red Robin. <laughs> and I was trying to eat a salad. And I kept having to put my fork down and like, grab the table edge and I was just like and I didn't I just I think I said ow a few times or I was kind of like ow 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 but I wasn't like blah or anything like that but they did hurt so <laughs> I'm a little scared but I'm I have more the mindset of like okay let's do this like, let's do this <laughs> let's get it over with um today I have an appointment at 1 30 for acupressure or acupuncture. I'm not sure what she's doing. Um, it's my mom's friend and so she's gonna try and help get things started because <laughs> I really don't want to be induced. Um, and if I were to be induced my doctor wouldn't do it until like December 1st and like the baby would be way bigger and I just <laughs> I really don't want to deal with that. So um, but I asked at my appointment the other day I was like is she like big enough? Is it safe if she if I were to go into labor now? And he's like, oh yeah, she's fine. She can be born anytime. Like she's big enough. And da 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 da. And her heart rate had gone down to like 130, so it indicated that she was bigger and that her nervous system was calming down. So it was good. So I'm gonna try that <laughs> and hope that it works. Um, so hopefully I'll have a baby by my due date. Please. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it's been kind of a blur. The last seven and a half months have been kind of a blur. There's been some anxiety, definitely. There's been some stress. There's been some... There's been way lots of happy things, like good things that happen. More, way more good things than bad things, so... I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it was a good experience, ultimately. Um, it's not over yet, and I'll let you know how that goes, but so far, I really can't complain. I'm happy. Um... I, I don't know if I'm going to have any more kids because I can't even think about it right now, but like, if I do, I hope that the next pregnancy goes like this one did because it was like, really no problem. So, the last thing I want to say before I run out of time, <laughs> if you are like me and you have an eating disorder and you want to get pregnant, but you're scared or whatever, it's possible to get pregnant, I mean... Not for everybody, obviously, but that notwithstanding, you can manage to grow a healthy baby. It's possible. I did it. So <laughs> don't be scared because all the things like her kicking, oh my God, best feeling. It's like, I did that. I grew that. So anyway, don't lose hope. <laughs> and I hope to have my next video be about giving birth so anyway have an awesome weekend if i don't talk to you guys and i will see you soon <laughs> okay bye